All right, I tell you before the break, I said we get the Kajaj guests we go join us in the house, talk about blogging and how it is very important for you to understand the do's and don'ts of blogging and also how social media they're very important to contribute to social change. Join me, welcome Elsie Godwin inside the house. Good to have you. Thank you for having me. Welcome to the show. So really tell us briefly how this, um, how you start to write, how you come turn them into waiting it be now, waiting it be for you initially. No, I just realized I have speak pigeon, right? Yes, anyone <laughs> where you see speak. Okay, uh, blogging. Blogging stem with, for, I think blogging found me, and I show me I found me. I won't say I found blogging, because I started blogging when I didn't even know what blogging was. You know, I, I wanted to share a story, a personal story. I had friends that used to blog then, then they blog again. I'm not sure so they see they blog, you know. And I reached out to them, I said, help me share this story. I want, because then Twitter was fed from blog. It's not now that bloggers have to choose, find the news from Twitter. Then you actually have to create content on blogs and then hope that it trends. You know, so you just wanted your, your, your content to be on a blog then. So I reached out, do this thing for me now, beg, I beg. Like, no, Elsie, you have to open your own blog. I'm like, what is a blog? You know, and they just made sure I opened it. You know, I think I'm thankful for them for that one step they made me take. And that's how blogging has stayed for me. So it has been a learning curve. I mean, I have to read up every day, find out new trends, what is happening, take courses online to make sure I understand the next trend. Because you know social media now, you wake up today and say, oh, God, it did not change. You have to find out what else is happening and how else to make sure your readers are still in tune with what you're doing online, on blogs, on social media, or any platform you choose. So, uh, we don't see cases of people just taking someone's content and putting it in their blog, and they call themselves blogger. Mm. Is that really what blogging is? Uh, it depends on the content you're talking about. But then that's a part of blogging. You know, blogging has diversified. Like, there's gossip blogging, there's news blogging, there's your normal lifestyle blogging, relationship blogging. You have to choose your niche. But then if you, we, we talk to each other, you know, there are conferences, there are groups, there are associations that tell you, you should try not to plagiarize people's content. If you have to pick mm -hmm. up a content, you try reach to out them. to them and let them know, I want to use this content. I mean, my blog is now a platform where I cannot feed it alone. I have people I pay to write and there are, there are content I just see you put up. I mean, if you put up something on Facebook and I know this is something that can benefit a whole lot of people. First thing that comes to my mind is, oh, why didn't I write this? Mm -hmm. And the next thing is for me to reach out to you via your inbox or anyhow to say, this content is good, I need to push it out. You're, you, you get due credit to tell people that this is written by this. And if I realize that your page is a page that keeps bringing out that kind of content, I'll tell you, okay, I want to get to a point whereby I don't have to reach out to you every time to say I want to post this. So I need your permission to always pick up your content when I think it's going to spread give the kind of message my platform mm. wants to give and share. So that's the kind of relationship I try to create with my own platform. But everybody cannot be the same thing, you know. So now you talk, say you don't, they, you don't read the stage where they actually pay people because now not only you, they write you, they pay people to help, mm. to assist in doing that. How lucrative has it been, the blogging, has it been for you to want to pay or to not they pay people already to they write for you from top of your uh, blog? Because your blog? I'm not just a blogger. There are so many other things I do. So the time to focus on the blog alone and to feed out the content, to push it out, is not really available. I mean, we have to inspire us, us in a day. So I have to present on TV, I have to do radio, I have to do influencer marketing, I have to be at events, I have to be at meetings. So you need someone to actually put out some kind of content for you, even if the person is creating or writing, you know. So yes, it is lucrative. It depends on the niche and how you actually want to make money from it and create your own brand. But at the end of the day, blogging opens your mind to so many other things you can do. Everything I mentioned I do now, I start first from blogging. It's from my reading, my research, my growing my audience, then I realize the confidence, I know, okay, I can do this, I can enhance myself with this, I can add this. And there are so many other ideas I've not even started. I mean, I have an event coming up, all this started from the blog. Mm. You know, so blogging is not just about gossip news and I think you used to blog at, you still have a blog, you know. I so still have it's a, a blog. platform where mm. you can just see something that you don't like and voice out your opinion, you know. Thank you, let, let me hold you there. <laughs> See something where you not like, yeah. and then you go voice out your opinion. Yes. We don't see cases, not just in the Western world, even in Nigeria, where mm -hmm. bloggers have been arrested mm -hmm. for seeing something where they're not like and voicing out their opinion. Mm -hmm. Now, do you feel that that industry, as we don't get plenty of people inside the industry, make it deregulated? 
Um, regulation is needed in almost every industry, but this is Nigeria. That line is becoming my favorite line now, and we, we bastardize everything. We, we try to use our power to hold that information that should be out there. Yes, regulations should be in place, but if you're going to use that regulations to hinder us from sharing the right information to people, then there is a problem, because that's you making sure the public do, don't know what they need to know, and stopping us from doing our what own What if job. it's not factual? What if waiting the person, the blogger, they write? Well, not waiting really Are you happen? very sure it's not factual? And you don't get evidence, but you don't cause wildlife for inside the country. Well, of course, you face the music, if that's the case. But if you're sure what you're writing, you can back it up, you have proof, mm -hmm. or at least the person will tell you, saying that you're anonymous source. The day when they carry you, you go, feel you bigger than that. that, that source. <laughs> yeah, fine, you can go ahead. But it's, it's becoming a very, very tricky line, a very risky line to... Mm -hmm. You have to know where you want to stay and stay there and make sure you are working by the law. There's, I think there's a law, I can't remember what that law is called right now, but an online act that binds whatever you push online, how you reach out to people and what you say about anybody That's online. I mean, you can be jailed for saying something Very about true. someone online. If the person decides to pursue it, you know, mm -hmm. the thing that happens with us here is that we don't really know our rights. Mm. So even when we know our rights, we say, oh, I beg, I don't have time to go to court because our judicial system is another issue Perfect. on its own, you know. So we are lucky in that aspect, but things are changing. So you mm. really need to be, make sure Speaking you Speaking of right changing thing. now, because now we don't, we don't see how social media, they, they, they influence change in the mm -hmm. lives of everybody, be it the celebrity and even the average person. We've seen the positive side of it. We've also seen, we don't see and say, it also gets so many disadvantages as well, where people don't even see them until they're involved in them fully. And mm -hmm. one of the things what would they talk about in terms of disadvantage and cyberbullying. Mm -hmm. Now, we don't see and say a lot of people be you normal person or the average person or the popular person, people, they try to take advantage of certain things. They go try, for, if, if you just upload one information or one picture, and somebody, to you, it's harmless. You know, not a day, sir. Not, but another person goes, see, and if you be saying a picking, they call it picking, say, be like talking. Before you know it, the person <laughs> don't enter you. Before you know it, one person don't follow. Before, before you know it, that's in a trend. Mm. And in a trend on negativity. Mm -hmm. I mean, so for you, what's in your opinion about cyberbullying and the way we will fit to handle them? on top social media, generally? Cyberbullying is wrong. It's just like the bullying we try to fight against among teenagers mm -hmm. in school and even your peers, you know. Cyberbullying is absolutely wrong. But first thing I would like to say is we need to have conversations and let people know your words are powerful. What you say to me right now, you think you've said it and you've gone, you don't know the effect it's going to have in my mind. And this is how social media works too. You could have a lot of good comments and that one bad one. You start asking yourself, is this true? Is this not true? Am I really looking like a turkey? You know, it just keeps going on and on. So we need to have conversations. We need to speak to each other, not just on social media, even off social media, and understand the power of our word. And then personally, I tell people to mind what they post online. Sometimes it's not your fault, yes, but there are some informations you just want to keep personal. You know, I think there was a post I made on my blog about... Um, things you shouldn't try to put online. I'll try to reshare that later. There are things you just shouldn't put online. It's, it's your, spe your personal space, mm -hmm. you know? And uh, except you're a celebrity or you're an influencer or you're a blogger, and most times when an influencer or a blogger or a celebrity put out something, there is a thought behind it. Mm -hmm. They have a reason. You're seeing it as, oh, they, they, they tweeted this. But sometimes the ripple effect that comes from that tweet has been envisaged. Very true. So tell us so more about this. So they know event. what they're doing. Elsie, tell us more about this your event because I know the time will be our friend here. Yeah, and within the event, at the end of the day, aim to achieve. Okay, this event is a yearly gathering where we use social media or let people understand how they can use social media to better their lives. So this year we've chosen we've chosen to speak about blogging and how you can use it to create social change. Now, if you need an information about something and you want to search online, where do you go to first? It's search engine. That's Google, mm -hmm, right? Google. Google picks information that are already online. And this information comes from websites and from blogs. So if I go, for example, and say, I want to find out um, places to report rape cases, if there are no information on blogs and websites on that particular um, findings for Nigeria especially, you're not going to find anything. All you will say is your foreign contacts and everything. And if somebody that doesn't have the right information has a blog and put up something, the wrong information spreads because that's what Google will pick 
to give you as so a result. Is this a free event? Yes, it's a free event. Where it will happen? It's happening at Best Western Hotel. What day and time? On 27 this Thursday, okay. 11 a.m. And 11 a.m. is 11 a.m. So we are bringing professionals from different industries to talk about how blogs can be used for change. Social change. How yes. can they register? Um, just go to the link on our social media platform, DG Media Talk, on Twitter and Instagram. There's All a right. link on the page. Thank you so much for coming to the Thank studio. Such a lovely interview again. Thank you. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.